The fitness industry is bursting at the seams with fraudsters, fakes, and Photoshop wizards willing to do whatever it takes to cheat the system. In today's video, we are looking at the biggest bodybuilding fakes around, some of which have suffered exploded arteries, worldwide hatred, and even death. Romario Alves is a Brazilian so-called bodybuilder that has been modeling his physique on the Incredible Hulk ever since first seeing the classic cult movie. Introduced to synthol while training at his local gym, Alves quickly became hooked as a young man and has been injecting the substance ever since. The amount that the Brazilian would use eventually caused his arms to solidify to the point that he could no longer force a regular needle past his skin. Instead of taking this as a message from above, he simply decided to buy extra strong needles that are usually used to inject fully grown bulls. As a result of his long-term abuse, Alves has been face-to-face -face with many health problems, including the potential double amputation of both of his beloved oversized arms. Luckily, it has never come to that. However, the long-term damage that Alves has caused to his body may still haunt him for years to come. Greg Valentino was once upon a time a well-respected, trophy-winning bodybuilder. However, this quickly changed when in a desperate attempt to keep up with a newer, bigger generation, he started dabbling in the dangerous muscle enhancer Synthol. Synthol is a crude mixture of oils, alcohol, and steroids, and once injected deep into muscles, it instantly buffs them up to almost humorous proportions, no heavy lifting required. Alongside his synthol usage, Valentino also started shooting up with other steroids and enhancers. The growth that he saw was immense, but you can only pump something up so much before it goes pop. When going about his regular injecting routine, Valentino accidentally punctured an infected abscess, which led to his bicep exploding like a burst balloon. This somewhat frightening reality check saw him finally stopping the steroid use altogether. Perhaps it should be seen as a blessing in disguise. Belgium-born Edward Spike Gore is a former professional rugby player, bodybuilder, model, and Hollywood stuntman. Quite the resume. His latest claim to fame? The man with the exploding heart. The 57-year-old, currently living in East Sussex, UK, is incredibly lucky to be alive. After 15 years of avid steroid use, the former bodybuilding pro found himself feeling intense pains in his chest that he describes as feeling like being stabbed in the heart. When paramedics arrived, he was already in the deep waters of a severe heart attack. A direct shot of adrenaline got his ticker beating again, but the worst of his health problems were yet to come. During emergency open-heart surgery, doctors found that his cardiac arrest was far worse than initially thought. His aorta had actually exploded during the heart attack, and he now had a gaping hole in his most vital organ. After the life-saving surgery, Gore went into a coma, only waking up six weeks later. He now uses his story as a warning to other bodybuilders, encouraging them to stay clear of all steroids and dangerous performance-enhancing drugs. Another bodybuilding wannabe from Brazil, Vladir Sagato's body is probably the best example out there for reasons not to touch synthol. Bullied as a teenager for being too skinny, Sagato started lifting weights in his local gym in an attempt to buff up. While he did fill out a little, the progress was slow, and what he really needed was a seriously quick fix. When he started using synthol, the growth that he achieved was rapid, and people really started to take notice. Just a few years after his first juicing session, Sagato's arms had inflated to a staggering 23 inches, which is a number even the biggest bodybuilders struggle to obtain. Sagato had landed himself in the hospital numerous times as a result of his synthol usage, and is very much aware of the deadly risks that it poses to his health. Despite this fact, he remains a regular user and claims that his only wish in life is to keep getting bigger and bigger. There's definitely a trend going on here with all these Brazilians. Arlindo de Souza claims to have the biggest biceps in the entire country, which is a very bold claim for someone who is obviously a user of synthol. But hey, to each their own, right? Like many young Brazilians, Souza was first introduced to synthol in his local gym, where he was assured that just one use would see his arms grow dramatically in just a few days. Without hesitation, he injected away, and his arms grew as promised. Like many synthol users, he was instantly hooked. The results of synthol are incredibly addictive, and even when one of his closest friends died from abusing the substance, he continued to inject regularly regardless. Sosa's arms are so big now that he is simply referred to by many as the Mountain. This might be a cool nickname, but it comes at the expense of knowing that his biceps could explode at any moment, and that a premature death is highly likely. Being a social media influencer is a legitimate career these days, and a very profitable one to say the least. Brad Castleberry is one of the most followed but also most controversial out there, all thanks to his suspected use of fake weights and photoshopped images. Castleberry grew up in a family of fitness fanatics, hitting the gym hard at a tender age of 16 and competing in professional bodybuilding shows by the time he was 19. 
Brad found little success in the pro competition circuit, so instead started to focus on building a social following and making money online by showing off his strength and weightlifting skills. While he did build his following honestly to start with, once he began blowing up, Brad put into action some sneaky tactics to keep people interested in what he was doing. Although not 100% confirmed, it is widely suspected that Brad used fake weight plates to make himself seem stronger than he really is, and photoshops his images to make him look bigger than he really is. Instagram and YouTube have given Brad the amazing opportunity to make a huge amount of money. However, it is also where he receives a ton of nasty messages, and even the occasional death threat. I guess it must be a bit of a love-hate relationship. Now for the only female on today's top 10. Gracie Ann Barbosa is a Brazilian fitness model with over 8.4 million Instagram followers. Despite the thousands of likes on all of her booty pics, Gracie Ann's fame has not been a result of only her skimpy outfits and very much on-show assets. Similarly to Castleberry, Gracie Ann has faced plenty of criticism over her rather obvious use of fake weights, but as the saying goes, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Some of Gracie Ann's videos show her squatting over 450 pounds for reps without even the slightest winces of strain. This is a feat that many bodybuilders and strong women can only dream of, let alone do whilst in the middle of a sexy photo shoot. You might wonder why this is such a big deal to so many people, but those in the fitness industry are regularly outraged by the model and say that fake lifters and camera trickery take the focus away from real athletes with genuine achievements in the sport. Gracie Ann Barbosa has never openly spoken about the fake weight claims. However, the countless videos on her page make it pretty hard to argue. No comments needed. Russian-born muscle freak Kirill Tereshin is a hot topic in the fitness industry, and unfortunately for all the wrong reasons. Another avid synthol abuser, Tereshin started using the substance after leaving the army at age 21. In just 10 days, he went from having noodle arms to sporting some serious guns. Serious false guns, that is. The rapid transformation had him well and truly hooked, and he has openly said that he has no intention of stopping, despite obvious health risks. He reports that every time he injects, he comes down with a 40-degree fever and feels like he could die at any moment. If that's not a big warning sign to stop, then I don't know what is. Curtis Leffler was a bodybuilding and world's strongest man competitor, but unfortunately passed away as a result of long-term steroid abuse. Although he had a fruitful career as a fitness professional, his reputation and memory will always be tainted by the fact that he died by way of the needle. It is thought that Leffler was injecting synthol into his calf when he hit a major artery, causing it to rupture and ultimately leading to him bleeding out in minutes. Although stories like this are not often shared in mainstream media, deaths that are the result of steroid use are not uncommon. He wasn't the first bodybuilder to die from injecting synthol, and he certainly won't be the last. Tyler Cook is a professional bodybuilder from the UK that has built a substantial social media following and a seriously impressive physique at the young age of 21. While the optimists out there would say good for him and believe that his gains are the result of hard work, there are many skeptics out there that believe his buffed up body is too good to be true and that it is instead the result of steroids and clever photoshopping skills. Cook, of course, denies all allegations of any funny business and says that his rapid progress in the gym is all thanks to his hard work and dedication. Now, I'm no expert, but if the majority of the internet has a feeling about something, then nine times out of ten, they're usually right. Let's just hope that if he is using steroids, that he stops before his biceps pop or his heart explodes. 